Бажаю здоров'я, шановні українці. Коротко про сьогоднішній день. Good health to you, fellow Ukrainians. Briefly about the day of December 15th. First, there is a confirmation of the macro-financial aid from the European Union for Ukraine for the next year. The volume is 18 billion euros. This is a good result. Second, I spoke with Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau. It was a good conversation. We are preparing to strengthen our defense cooperation. I am grateful to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and all Canadians for the principled leadership on sanctions policy. Every sanction step against Russia for the war that has already been taken by the free world really helps us bring peace closer. Third, we are preparing important international events for the next week, something that could give Ukraine more defense support this winter, more military capabilities. During another Russian shelling of Kherson, a projectile hit the aid station of the Red Cross. The woman who died was a paramedic, a volunteer. My condolences to the relatives. Just since the beginning of December 15th, Russia has shelled Kherson more than 16 times, only in one day, and it is so every day. On December 15th, communities of the Kharkiv region were shelled again. In Donbas, as in all previous weeks, brutal Russian attacks continue. The occupiers throw everyone and everything they have into the offensive. They cannot defeat our army, so they physically destroy every town and village, so that there are no buildings, not even walls that can be used for any kind of defense. The only way to stop this is to push out Russian terrorists step by step from our Ukrainian land, to continue the pressure on Russia, to find new ways to hold every Russian terrorist, every Russian oligarch who helps the terrorist state and all Russian officials and propagandists to account for everything they do, do against Ukraine, against freedom as such. Thank you to everyone who fights and works for Ukraine. Thank you to everyone who holds the front in Donbas in the south, who holds the border, who protects our sky and our people. Eternal memory to all those who gave their lives for freedom. Glory to Ukraine.